long time, you know that TVZ was always like the sacred matchup where the rivalries came from, where the great players evolved. And I've always kind of felt Mech was a slap in the face to quote unquote the sacred matchup. And um, uh, Hogill taking down one turret there, but you know, that's not really a big deal. Um, you know, C's got the Marines there to just kind of fend them off. You know, he really hasn't hurt the economy too much per se. Um, we did see the factory going down, but that's more so uh, so C can tech to the SK Terran here rather than, um, you know, go for a mech build of any kind. Um, I'm expecting to see a starport really soon to get the vessels out. And we see a Hydra Den going down for Hogil, so he's definitely going to be going for a tech switch uh, pretty soon. Going to be going for lurkers, I would assume. Let's just hope he doesn't, uh, you know, take the switch too hard like Hyun did last game and kind of ruin everything yeah you can see Zerg aren't used to playing with mutalisks anymore you can really see that They're, the micro is sloppy fine it's not Jadong it's not July or whatever but you can see being sloppy he's going for a lot of mutalisks so he's really investing in this pro yeah he is going for the den but he's gonna try and get something from these mutalisks but all he's getting is turrets C is really bunkering up that little mineral line there and those marines as well he's taking a lot of hits on a mutalisk again gonna go for the back now that starboard is already up so probably going to see I don't know um, we won't see a Wraith because that would be silly, so probably going to see a dropship and a drop in the main probably, but don't think it's going to get through there. Or probably just speed on to science vessels to try and irradiate these little mutalisks. So yeah, we'll see what's going to happen with the Hydalisks then, but for now, all I'm seeing is mutalisks and it, nothing else. And look at that, a massive amount of turrets, he's not going to get in there, he's only getting damaged. Because those, those turrets are doing free damage, you get one SCV, well done, you've got nine mutalisks and all you got was a turret and some an NSV. There you go, science facility is up. So you will see science vessels soon. Um to combat these mutalisks and they'll get irradiated and if he's unlucky he's gonna get completely evaporated. Yeah absolutely and this uh, this is the kind of stuff like I was talking about earlier that I just love to see I love to see C do this kind of thing. Um, just bunker down and wait it out. I think the problem here, though, is that uh, the problem for the Zerg player is that he's A, he's sucking with his mutalisks, and B, he did not take that third base yet, and it's still not up yet. So, uh, let alone having that third gas, so he's going to have a lot of uh, problems with trying to get out masses of lurkers or whatever it is that he's trying to get here. Um, and there are tanks already. You usually see about six or so lurkers before the tanks get even get out. And uh, that is not the case here at all. Um, there's just... Uh, yeah, there's like there's tanks pumping already. There's still tanks pumping, rather. And yeah, the, this Mutalist Micro is just crap. This is not the kind of Mutalist Micro, like you were saying, Gareth, that we're used to seeing um, from watching from back in the old days. But uh, the old days of uh, 2007. But... Um, <laughs> you know what I mean here. It's just like, and the I think though the the key mistake here is that uh, the Zerg player is re relying on something that's just not there. He's relying on this mutilus crest, and it's just not happening for him. And he just did not take his third base. It was such a big mistake, in my opinion, that he just did not take that third base. And he's oh, it's, he's just so far behind. Yeah, he's definitely fallen behind. He's committed too much to these mutalists. And now here's what I was just going to talk about. You know, the wonderful thing about this SK Terran for C, you know, so many Zergs have been playing against a mech build lately that, you know, they haven't been seeing the SK. They haven't been seeing the science vessels. And I was just going to say, I think it was a really brilliant move on C's part to go specifically for SK and not, you know, just a regular M&M &M because... As little of a thing as it seems, you know, these Zergs are not used to practicing splitting the Mutalisks as soon as one of them get irradiated. And you really saw it right there. You know, the Mutalisks hovered for a second while Hogil tried to get the one who was getting irradiated out of there. And, you know, now he's got the, he's setting up outside of Hogil's base. He's going to just nerf this expansion completely. Um, and this is really bad for Hogil. I don't see anything he can do at this point. This game is not looking good for him. No. You could see it right at the start. He did that 12 hatch and he planted down that sunken. 
Delta Del sign, he was expecting that early vulture, that early little harassment that didn't come, and he was completely preparing for mech. Now, of course, and like you said, Hogil, being the pro gamer, should have known that C was actually going to do, do something like this because he does favor those M&Ms. But yeah, there we go. So these lurkers completely unprotected now. Um, now there we go. Final assault. Look at that. Those mutilists are simply evaporating. Just a little puff of blood, and that's it. Now the lurk is going in there. Look at his face going, what in the hell? That's, yeah, welcome to 2007. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> GG. And uh, I like how uh, Hogil had that little southern drawl there. Oh. Yeah, that was awesome. Welcome to 2007, indeed. We're going to party like it's 2007. But uh, anyways, um, good game. Uh, you guys got anything else to say other than uh, that was pure SK Onage? I got nothing. No, that... Yeah, it just, All right. yeah, it's a lead game. The, the exact game length was 1337, everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got to point that out, too. That was a 1337 game. But, uh, anyways, uh, we're going to move on to the next set here. I believe it's set four. So, uh, And this is also a must-win for NBC, so we'll see if they can pull it out. GG.